Awai and Fasinotti. Both cleared at the second time of asking. Well, the next event on the track, the men's 400 metres final. Brilliant running in that women's 400 metres final just uh, some 10 minutes or so ago. There it is. Lalon Gordon of Trinidad and Tobago. Moresa of Kenya in two. Haroon of Qatar, watch him in three. Dion Lendor goes in lane four for Trinidad and Tobago. Again, the Czech, Pavel Maslak, the defending champion in lane five. And uh, Brayon Taplin, outside the only European Maslak, goes for Grenada in lane six. Taplin, the fastest man in the world, looked very, very impressive, winning his uh, semi-final was uh, yesterday, of course, they had their heats and semis in the one day yesterday. Of course, the uh, other great 400 meter runner from Grenada is Kirani James. And he's uh, still very tender years. Pavel Maslak, well, he's not exactly an old campaigner. He's 25, the compact little Czech, the defending champion. Maslak actually tops the world outdoor list at the moment with 45.33 in Pochestrum in South Africa on uh, the 2nd of February. There's Haroon, he goes uh, in lane three, the Qatari, coached by Jama Arden, of course, who has had such astonishing a sec uh, success with the likes of Dibaba, Meseret Dibaba. Serbian Dababa, I mean, of course. Lalonde Gordon then goes in lane one. 27 years old now, the man who was only third in his semi final. When he came into running rather late, he'd already tried volleyball and basketball. 46 0 3 for his uh, semi final run. The Olympic bronze medalist Lalonde Gordon in lane one. That's Braylon Taplin, a semi finalist at the Commonwealth Games two years ago. He goes in lane six. He is the favourite, the fastest in the world this year, the world number one. But he's moved on a bit in the last couple of years. He's only 23. Maslak, the defending Set. champion there, in five. From the outside, Kaplan, Maslak. And away they go. They'll break from lanes, of course, after about 160 metres. And certainly, Dion Lendor of Trinidad Tobago has gone off very hard in lane four. So has Maslak, he's closed a little bit on Taplin, but Taplin leads at 200 metres, and this is viciously fast, 20.89. That could be a little too quick. Maslak in his slipstream, look at the gap. Back to Lindor in third place. Haroon coming down the outside, trying to get into the medal positions, but Taplin into the final bend, and Maslak is strong. Is he eyeing up the man outside him, the Grenadian in front of him, and the Grenadian did go too fast. And Maslak driving for the line, easing away. Haroon coming through for the silver. Boy, oh boy, and Lindor there taking third place, taking the bronze. But Pavel Maslak in 45.44 retains his title. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. Perfectly judged. He is supreme indoors. He's won the last two European indoor titles at 400 metres against the best of the rest, the only European in the race, and surely the smallest figure in the race, Pavel Maslak, judged that to perfection. Taplin, insanely fast at 200. You've got to get it right, 20.89, Chris. Well, it was, uh, I hate to use the word suicidal, but it really was quite irresponsible in the end, wasn't it, from uh, Taplin? I mean, you, got, you can admire his aggression, but really, the racecraft of Maslak he knows these circuits, he knows what to do indoors, and uh, that was perfectly judged. Pitch perfect from Maslak, and uh, well done to uh, Haroon for coming through and taking that uh, silver medal. The time confirmed, 45.44, gold for the Czech Republic. Pavel Maslak, majestic. And he gets a bunch of red roses for his trouble as Pavel Maslak with that uh, gold medal winning run. 45.